preparing to roll out the state's first ever bourbon. Some people lined up outside for the past couple of days. Crim News' Ashley Corslin has an inside look at how the new bourbon came to be. <laughs> A brand new bourbon is bottled, ready to hit the shelves of Spokane. It's been in the works for three years, a dry fly distillery. But what you might not know is where it all started. That's where Mitch Engel comes in. He's the primary weed producer for the distillery. We supply the wheat that they use to make whiskey, gin, and vodka. And we've been doing it since uh, August of uh, 08. Every week he makes the drive to Spokane from his Oaksdale farm to deliver his homegrown wheat to dry fly. When they say they want six or eight bags or whatever, I bag it out of the elevator and put it on the trailer behind us and take it to him. Getting to know Mitch, going down and sharing harvest with him and his family, it's it's been a great relationship. We love Mitch. That wheat has gone directly into dry fly's newest release, Washington Bourbon 101, the first bourbon ever to be bottled in the state. <laughs> And Engel is happy his product made the cut. Anytime that they can use more weed, it's better for me and better for them. He says financially, being in business with the guys at Dryfly has helped his family farm. But better yet, he says he's proud to be a part of this little piece of Washington history, a time for everyone to celebrate. They actually say that, you know, in good times people drink and bad times people drink. So. <laughs> From the golden fields of Oaksdale to the shelves of the Spokane Distillery. You'll find a little homegrown Washington flavor in each sip. Ashley Corslin, Creme 2 News.